Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, it's hauling cattle time. These guys got to go out to the pastures. Actually, these gals got to go out to the pastures. And uh, we got most of them hauled out yesterday. Uh, well, not most, half. But uh, one of my trucks broke down. My F450 broke down. I've got no power steering, no brakes. So I checked the... Uh, power steering well it's really foamy and creamy so I think it's past its prime so I tried to flush it out I did didn't flush it out the regular way but just flushed it out with a siphon and uh, tried it again but it didn't work so it's gonna need some more work so we got the little trailer when we're hauling 10 cows at a time and 10 calves so let's take off Sean's got all the cows, I got all the calves. You get Sean to let the cows go first, then I will let the calves go. Oh, that was a good jump. Go on. Scared. Well, that's everybody. Still one more in Shotton's truck. Just doesn't want to come out. I don't want you guys to go that way. As you can tell, it's not smoky anymore. Come out, Sean. It's actually very nice right now for the last two days, three days. But we have to get going because the cows are heading towards the gate. And I don't want them to go to the gate because they will get out. They're supposed to go the other way. They're kind of all riled up when they come out into the new pasture then they settle down. Every time you bring another load they kind of, the calves start to run. So the cows have to run with them. Well, I forgot to film uh, taking the, uh, putting the cows on. Totally forgot. But this is the last load, and these guys are all happy. So, how many more cows we got to do yet, Sean? About 60. So we got to go to another pasture yet, but we have to go get our bulls out of that one pasture. And then redistribute all the bulls to everybody. Right, Sean? How many bulls are left there? Four. Four. Take it from Sean, he knows. Okay, well, let's go get those panels. We have to, uh, we have to take the panels there and uh, hook them up so we can get the bulls because our corral is not quite finished there. Well, we're up on uh, pasture here where the bulls are and I've got one bull left to take just waiting for Sean he's uh, dropping them off and then I think he had to get a little bit of diesel and uh, come back up here uh, we, this is where we had the bulls here we have to take them out of here 
and then uh, uh, take him home because we can't leave him here by himself. Because if you leave a bull by himself, he might try to wander to some other cows that are not his to have. <laughs> and uh, that's not good. So we'll, I don't know yet which bull we're putting here. But when we bring the cows here, which will probably be tomorrow, we will probably have to bring them him or one other one back. So not sure yet. If you're looking what happened to my eye, I banged it on the door when I opened it. I don't know why, but I'm always doing something stupid like that. Went to open the door, and I think I looked the other way while I was opening it, and boom, right in the temple, right in the eyebrow. Anyway, that's uh, that's one of our bowls. Uh, we're probably short about one bowl. We need like one more bowl because we've got a couple that are lame. And you always have to separate a lot of these guys because they'll just end up fighting and getting themselves hurt. So that's the bad thing about bulls. They can never get along. So, yeah, we uh, brought these panels here. Set these up. Just a little makeshift setup here. Just to get the bull in to the truck. We just take two at a time because you can't you can't uh, take any more than that because uh, they don't get along inside the trailer. But yeah, I want to finish this corral off. Hopefully this this uh, fall. Uh, get, saw some more two by sixes on the sawmill, and pound some more posts and get this set up. It's funny. Uh, this uh, last fall when we were setting the panel, the steel panels up again, I had to go back and look at the last year's, the year before video and how we set these panels up the right way again. So it comes in handy for that. I hear Sean coming. So we're going to load up here. Wait for him to arrive. Well, it's 10.30 and Sean finally showed up. Good. Close enough. I was just texted you, see if you were coming yet. I was almost falling asleep. There. I think this guy wants to go. Okay, big guy, let's go. Come on. Help! 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 Come on. Help! 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 Come on. Come on, get in there. I don't think he wants to go. Well, I couldn't film it because I was having a hard time getting on. But he just all of a sudden decided that he wanted to go on. Right, Sean? I told Sean to move the gate straighter right there. And that's all it took. That took about 10 minutes we were standing there with him. But he's on now and we're ready to go. It's almost 11 o'clock. We're starting to lose daylight. A lot of daylight still, but I'm tired. I want to go home. All right, let's go dump this guy off. Well, we're just going to dump him off at home for now. And then when we're ready to come and get him, we'll come and get him. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button, and we'll talk to you all later.